Ah, abou, aboye, abou, abou, shishio. This is Babo, pues amo ifa kore de fa daero. Um, this early morning smoothie, my time to shine and keep it fine. Mmm, peppermint. I love peppermint. Peppermint is so good. Anti-inflammatory, great chlorophyll. Very good stuff for the gut. Um, Energy-wise, uh, keep you a little pep in the step. Calm and cooling. Anti-inflammatory. Great stuff, right? Um, obviously, parsley. Good for the kidneys. All that beautiful stuff, stuff, stuff. I love parsley. Mm-hmm. If you don't side your plate on the, in the restaurant, eat it. <laughs> or just eat it in general, not at the restaurant. Um, cilantro, 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 cilantro. I love cilantro. Cilantro is good stuff. Again, always good. Smells good. Love it. Uh, great for getting rid of heavy metals out the body. <laughs> good stuff. Put that in my smoothie. Um, of course, without a doubt, this is the thing, the thing, thing. Beets. I love beets. Bring up the blood, keep everything flowing. You know, bounce out the body. Love it, leave it. And then, of course, reishi mushroom for vitamin D and immune stimulating. Other things, too. I'm just briefly going over the things that I put me in but of course um my beautiful lime I love limes limes are my friend I love them keep my keep me healthy um also um, keep me hydrated but pH balance all that good stuff and you know you know me and avocado are best friends um blueberries blackberries and i <laughs> cricket powder you know how i do is cricket powder all the ways but this one and then oat milk but cantaloupe got a nice beautiful cantaloupe cantaloupe good stuff i think about putting a little collard greens in there um of course um my uh banana banana all those good stuff. Just want to get it up in mobile and rolling. The close encounter. Or the true kind. Um, but that's what I'm doing right now. Early morning smoothie. Come join me in. You know, every day is a is a journey. Take it. Every day is a blessing. To glad to have woke up in this morning. And a lot of people have it, right? So thanks for all those things. I know that may be cliche, especially now. Um, the most basic sayings that we say are cliche, right? Because people take it as, you know, you're living a life of whatever. But I've been doing something on the internet, social media lately, um, where I've been trying to make sure that I recognize positive um, people who are positive, posting positive things. It could be everyday thing; it doesn't have to be nothing extraordinary. I appreciate it, right? Because I'm sick of hearing or seeing somebody doing something foolish and you know whatever. But somebody's on and just talking and just giving their life story or the experiences or giving things that are specific to that without it being some silly ish right it's nice to see it's nice to connect to so that's why I, I try to promote one way or the other these days so that's that hashtag you know thank you for posting positive that's what I'm trying to put out there just because Again, we see way too much negativity already. Why? What's the point of even engaging and dealing with foolishness? I'm definitely, I'm not going to say the, the, their names. You know, I'm definitely sick of hearing about them. You know, and so much other things that's going on in this life. Little distractions like that are irrelevant. 
And we appreciate these little things that we deal with every day in our life, um, in our uh, daily runnings that we take for granted. You know, when you leave the country or even when you're just out and about in the places that you are, outside the, the scope so that you live and, and deal with, sometimes we forget about those little things that we take for granted or that we don't um, really recognize, whether it be family, whether it be friends, whether it be people that we uh, care about, or just our own time. It was really cool. I went out with my friend yesterday, and we went to a, um, to a, uh, was that, Emmyville, Emmyville, California, right by of uh, water. That was so cool. It was windy, so I don't get out, but it was cool. I got a chance to get out and about a little bit, you know? Nothing spectacular, just getting out, enjoying the, the wind, enjoying the water. Something about water for me opens me up. Give me a little, a little bit of clarity. Hey, me to see things a little better. Well, in the tradition of your father called, um, um, but really all waters are like a local shiny idea, right? The ocean. Because it represents all waters. From the depths to the heights to everywhere. Because there's no the the ocean represents pretty much all, all things that are inspire and, and deep wisdom or deep philosophy or deep um insight. And so that's why I uh, I like going there. You know, going to the ocean or going to some body of water, some kind of way. Kind of serene, calm, cool. You know, no wolf, no bull, no drama, no trauma. Just keeping it like really basic. 